happy travelers. Today we're taking a bus from Wrocław, Poland to Krakow, Poland. There's a couple different options of how you can get to Krakow from Wrocław, but this seemed to be the cheapest and the fastest for us right now. So we're just about ready to check out of our Airbnb and hopefully catch an Uber, just about a 10 minute drive away to the bus station. As per usual, we have packed way too much crap. just arrived at the bus station. Kelly ran into a convenience store nearby to grab a little bit of food, and uh, our bus is just about ready to leave. Made it on the bus in just the nick of time. I'm trying to get some food, and the line was super long, so it made us a little behind, but we made it. We're taking the Flix bus, which is pretty popular here. There was one going to crack off like every hour, and they have Wi-Fi and electrical plugs, and they have a bathroom. It took a little over three hours and we have made it to Krakow. We made the courageous decision to walk it. It's about 10 minutes, but we do have a lot of crap to lug, so. Two? I don't know. Two's not lighting up, so one it is. <laughs> <laughs> Busier here than Krotzwoff. It's Saturday, so that might be a reason why. So I booked the Amber Design Hotel, which is right near the main square of Krakow. This room ended up being about 75 US dollars a night, super nice. And like I said, it's walking distance to all the good stuff we want to see. Although I think I accidentally booked us in two separate beds in a smaller room. So I think we're gonna have to push our beds together, Lucy and Ricky style. <laughs> oh my God, so dramatic. Oh. No, this doesn't work. There's way little. It's not that hard. Wunderbar. Wunderbar? I think we're in the wrong country for that. It looks like they've left us a little bit of vodka, too. Vins. Vins. Vinsniovka. 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 Did I do it? I don't know. It sounds good. Vinsniovka. If, if, if anyone's right. Polish watching this, I apologize. You sound confident. It says, a natural choice for a traditional Polish vodka flavor, as many believe the world's best cherries come from Poland. Cherry infused vodka with a cherry juice. Wisniowka. Wisniowka. I got this, I got it, hang on. We have Google Translate. This is always a good practice in any country that you go to that isn't predominantly English speaking, but if you download the language on Google Translate when you do have internet, it'll work offline too. Wisniowka. Wisniowka. Sorry, we're trying, but Polish is really hard. You want to have some Wisniewka. Cheers. It tastes just like Robitussin. Yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> like exactly like cough syrup. Are we sipping on Polish scissor? <laughs> it does. It's good though, actually. Like really good Robitussin. Even the burn of Robitussin, like, yeah. it feels exactly the same. <laughs> in a good way. We're not knocking on Wyszkowna. So Kelly decided to stay in the room, but I was pretty hungry. So I'm just gonna walk right around the corner to what they call a milk bar, which is kind of like a inexpensive cafeteria. It was only like 400 feet away from our place. Just get a little snack to kind of hold me over until dinner. So I ended up going for just a half order of pierogi. Ended up costing something like $2.50 if you convert it to US dollars. Super cheap, came out really quick, super tasty. Check out milk bars if you uh, ever need a quick place to eat. We've decided just to stay in tonight. We have some work to do and we'd like to catch up on a little bit of sleep because we do have a lot of adventures planned here in Krakow. And I've sent Kevin off to get some food. Yeah. Pizza and beer. It's not very Polish. Nah, not, well it's a Polish beer. Oh, there you go. So, they didn't have wine, so I got you cider instead. It says Polish stuff on it, so. 
So, good morning. Uh, welcome to Krakow, Poland. This is our first full day here. We're going to get some breakfast. Coffee. This breakfast place is called Cakester, which is a little misleading. Actually, they have a really good menu that has a ton of like vegan, gluten-free, sugar-free, dairy-free, and regular options if you don't want any of that. Found that in Poland so far, there have been a ton of different options. So if you have any dietary restrictions, this is not a hard place to find food that'll fit your lifestyle. And they got comfy chairs. Big old cup of coffee. We ended up getting scrambled eggs, one of their toasts, which was pretty much a egg sandwich, waffles, two coffees, and juice, and it will be less than $10 per person, so definitely affordable. So now we're gonna explore crack off a little bit. We haven't really been out in the city just yet. The main square is one of the larger ones in Europe, I guess. Architecture is very cool. This is the cloth hall of Krakow. It's right in the middle of the main square, and some form of this building has been in this spot since the Renaissance. So it has been a hub for trading and buying and selling goods for hundreds and hundreds of years. There are stalls all up and down each side, so you can buy, you know, little things like magnets that say Poland on them, but also like some pretty cool handmade goods. And apparently Poland is big on amber, so you can buy amber jewelry in some of the stalls. So what we've learned so far is that if you want to travel to Europe on a budget, Poland is a fantastic place to come to. Everything is relatively inexpensive as compared to Western Europe. We are not doing it as cheaply as we possibly could. Even a lot of the hotels include little kitchenettes, so if you wanted to do it really cheap, just go to the grocery store and you can cook your own meals. Or go to one of the milk bars here and you can get a super cheap Polish meal for under $5 a person. We had to run back to the room for a little bit to get some work done and get a video up to be posted. We just posted it, go watch it. <laughs> But we are heading back out and it is just about time for sunset. It's like 3.30 in the afternoon, guys. You do not get a lot of daylight no. in Poland in December. But we're gonna try to catch the last little bit of this light and try to get a few photos before it gets dark. walking around the Wawel Castle, which is one of the main attractions in Krakow. It is, I believe, one of the largest castles in Europe by land volume, which is pretty cool. And there's actually a cave underneath it where there's a whole legend about a dragon and the founding of Krakow. The cave is unfortunately closed in the winter and the castle is closed right now because the sun's going down. Tip for Poland, if you visit in December, do stuff earlier in the day because the sun goes down early and everything closes early in the winter. The only thing that'll be open later are the bars in the Christmas market. So that's what we'll be doing. <laughs> yeah. Even though the castle's closed, it is up on a big hill and you can walk around it. And it's a great place to watch the sunset at 3.30 in the afternoon. <laughs> we do for Instagram. Even if you don't go inside the cathedral or any of the castle, it's definitely worth walking around the outside. Uh, there is a small fee to get inside. It looked like they were just about ready to close, so we didn't do that today. Just the intricate designs and everything and the view from up here is definitely worth checking out. We made it back to the Krakow Christmas Market. As I suspected, it looks a little bit more magical at night. It didn't look that great earlier today, but I think once we get some old wine and a little bit of food, it'll look even better. I still think the Wrocław Christmas Market looked a little bit more magical. It had more lights and multi-story bars and stuff like that. But you know, it's still cool to be in Poland for the Christmas markets. So you'd think this would be dinner, but it's not. It's just a snack before dinner. 
We got a kielbasa and some potatoes. We found the mold wine stand. It is definitely a madhouse here, which totally makes sense because it's Sunday nights. Hopefully during the week, it'll be a little bit quieter. But we got some mulled wine and I think that's gonna warm us up real quick and then we'll have enough energy to do another lap. <laughs> wanted to warm up so we came to a pub or beer house. They only serve Belgian beers except they have hot mold wine which I have more of. But Kevin is getting to have a Belgian beer which he is very happy about. I think we've worked up a bit of an appetite now. So we're gonna head to a little restaurant that's just around the corner from our hotel called Bistro Bene. So we decided to split a burger for dinner since we had that kielbasa earlier at the Christmas market. It's probably still going to be too much food, but we'll make it work. That burger was really good. I definitely recommend checking out that place. I think it was called Bistro Benny. I've been pleasantly surprised with the food, the cafes, just everything. I mean, everywhere we've been in Poland so far has been super cute. But I think we're going to end this video here. Be sure to subscribe because we have some really awesome adventures coming up in Poland. Tomorrow we are going to the salt mines that are right outside of Krakow. This is Kelly and Kevin from the Awkward Tourists. Peace out. Three hundred and twenty stairs to go. the chapel of St. Kinga. It's by far the biggest chamber we've seen so far and it's what you'll see when you Google the Wielichka salt mines. Today we are taking a... Today we're taking a bus from Wrocław. What is it called? We've been in the town of Wrocław. Yeah, Wrocław? Wrocław. <laughs> Jesus. Winsnoka, Winsnoka, Polski smack. Wyniowka. 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 It literally means cherry vodka. I'm not sure if this is the Christmas market. It's Turtleneck, turtle. Turtlenecks are so flattering. Turtle. But wait, there's more. <laughs> Dang. Christmas. Can you copy? You recording? <laughs> this time? Because you weren't before. I did that whole thing. Now I gotta do it all over again. I've been pleasantly supplied. Surprised. <laughs> Surprised.